Fair, who seems to enjoy coming home all the time. The PBA Regional has been held at the Super Bowl for two years. Both times, Fair has been the winner. In some ways, it was just like a stop on the Pro Tour. Adjusting this, changing that, looking for a little more pin action. For Steve Fair, it meant dragging an old pair of shoes out of the basement for morning workout. Shoes that didn't agree with his approach. But luckily, this was just bowling for the camera. But it does show that even the pros don't strike all the time. The conditions with the lane maintenance men out on that PBA Tour are so much different than the normal house conditions. It takes much better adjustments, uh, more speed control. For Steve or any other bowler, it's a tempo game, fine-tuning the mechanics from the approach to the follow-through. Done right, the pins fall. Done wrong, or not quite right anyway, the soldiers are left standing. And that's the difference in the pros. Marshall Holm and Mark Roth are averaging around the 213. I was about 208 and a half, so the difference in four pins a game out there across the country on a full year is $70,000. What it shows that aside from the God-given ability, you should better be consistent regardless of lane conditions. It's like asking a pitcher to consistently throw strikes. Fair says the best he's ever seen at it is the now-retired Earl Anthony. Fair seems to always hit the tempo when he's pulling. He seems very low-key, very able to go out and just make a shot and relax and just stroke it without trying to overpower it or, or get too soft. So he was so great at shot making, uh, it seemed like you could never stop him. And Ironically, it was Anthony that Fair defeated for his first pro tournament win at Indianapolis back in 1982, just a year after Fair decided to take the plunge onto the pro tour. My wife and I, we travel together all the time with the kids, and we can't wait to get home. We put about 40,000 miles a year on the van, and it just, it gets to become a grind. But the grind can be worth it. Bowling continues to enjoy immense popularity. NBC this year joined ABC in televising events, and the public has responded to bowling on television. People, young and old, can bowl, can go out there, they can watch the pros on Saturday, and occasionally when they have a bad game, shoot 170 or 80. The people say, well, I can do that. That's probably what Steve Fair said years ago. Then he went out and proved it. And when you bowl for a living, you have to keep proving it week after week. It's everything right now. It's very serious. Even my practice, I, I've got to stay mental. In fact, my wife, uh, occasionally she calls me an airhead. She says, all you're doing is thinking about bowling. And I always answer, I says, yeah, bowling right now is all we've got. It's our only income and it's our only way of getting ahead.